Hello artists! Today we are going to make an artwork inspired by the French artist Henry Rousseau's jungle scenes. His first jungle painting he did is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. It's called Tiger in a Tropical Storm. There's a tiger right here. In my drawing that we will be doing today, I'm going to replace the tiger with a leopard. Let's get started. Henry Rousseau was a French artist born in 1844. He was a self-taught artist who often painted images of jungle scenes and animals. His work was almost always bright and colorful. Although he is best known for his bold pictures of jungles teeming with flora and fauna, this painter of exotic areas never left France. He did, however, visit the botanical gardens and the zoo often in France. So he used his imagination to create these wonderful faraway places. This is the painting of Tiger in a Tropical Storm that will inspire our artwork today. Now it's time to begin. I'm going to start by drawing with pencil very lightly in case I want to erase anything. And then I'm going to use crayons, markers, and colored pencils to color my artwork because there's no rule against using only one of those materials. So I am drawing the tiger shape first, and it's not very realistic, but when I color it, I'm going to make it look like a leopard. Even though leopards don't live in the jungle, jaguars live in the jungle, but in honor of Lincoln, we'll be doing a leopard. You can do yours as a tiger if you'd like, or even something else. You could do a monkey, you can do whatever you'd like. I'm referencing the last artwork while drawing the large cat. And again, don't worry about it being super realistic. You can also look up an image of another animal and draw that instead. Good thing I drew lightly because I wanted to erase that line through the ear. Then I'll start drawing some leaves and tree branches. And I'm not trying to make it look exactly like the original artwork. I'm trying to make it like my own. And just like Rousseau, he painted things from his imagination by taking what he saw at botanical gardens and zoos and making them into his own artwork. So you've seen a few of his artworks, now make them into your own. So don't just copy, make it your own. If you do plan to use crayons, markers, and colored pencils, the important thing to remember is that color pencil and marker don't work well over crayon. So you can do crayon on top of the marker, but if you put the marker on top of the crayon, it's going to rub off. So keep that in mind. I colored the background with pencil lightly because the whole thing's gonna be a lot of different color greens to represent the jungle. Now I use some marker and remember, I can't, I'm using crayon right now on my leopard and I'm going over it with pencil and you can kind of see in the tail how it wasn't quite going over it that great. Um, so rather than using pencils for the spots, I'm gonna use crayons for the spots. So just think about what material you're going to use before you use it and if you're gonna do another color on top of it, what you're going to use. So I'm just coloring in everything, looking at the original painting just a little bit for reference, but again, trying to make it my own. You can be finished after coloring it if you'd like, so it would look something like this. Or if you want, you can add another layer by adding some collaging on top. So I'm going to do that just to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm getting some magazines, or you can have paper that you painted or created. And I cut out a lot of different things that were green, and I'm just placing them on top of my artwork, uh, maybe trimming some things. I pre-cut all of them for the video. Now you can cut your leaves and make them look three-dimensional by cutting slits in the sides and then bending them so that they look like they're sticking off the page, which is a pretty cool effect. You can also do this artwork as a painting or a watercolor oil pastel or crayon resist where you use the crayon or oil pastel and then paint over it with watercolor and all your crayon or oil pastel lines still show. So 
So you can decide if you want to collage and how much you want to collage and if you want it to look three-dimensional. I can even put leaves on top of leaves and so on. Make this your own artwork. Don't just copy mine, be original. This is what it looks like as a drawing and a collage. I hope you enjoyed this project. Stay creative, my friends.